up and at him. How's it going, everybody? Everybody have a nice weekend? I don't know why I'm not smiling. Uh, Chotomate. There we go. That's still not great. Today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. Now I got this game a long, long time ago. Many years ago. Uh, and it's been forever since I played. So we're going to go into... Training? Yeah, let's go into training. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Ooh. Uh-huh. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. I still have my Halloween decorations up. Shut up, phone. Uh, welcome to today's lecture on vessel construction. I'm Werner von Kerman. Whether you want to put a satellite into orbit, make a trans... Oh my god, the phone. Uh, where, is it? where was I? Make a transcontinental flight or step onto the very surface of the moon. You're going to need to build yourself a ship. It should be pretty easy if you're not a famous rocket scientist like me. Or even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. In this tutorial, I was really each step on rocket. Okay. Now you're Kerbal Space Center. I'll give you a run on KSC. Uh. Kerbal Endeavor Achievements. So you can hover your mouse over them. Okay, blah 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 blah. Take your time. Hover the mouse over the buildings and see what they each are in building. When you're ready, enter a vehicle assembly building. Uh, this one. Let's go. Very good. What you see in the middle of this screen is the construction area. This is where parts are placed and your craft is constructed. On the left side of the screen, in the parts toolbox, it will sh This text is really small, I'm sorry. It will show all the parts you have available in each pack of these different categories. Once there are... Once there are any to pick, that is. Oh. Okay, da 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 da. My crafty control when you need a uh, Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... Oh. Arrow keys. Okay, arrow keys. Ooh, or I can just do this. Hey. Oh, look at the... Look at this. Oh, dude, it looks so much nicer when I first played it. Damn. Okay. You'd like to be able to make more than one flight? He or she will have to return safely to the ground or water on COVID. Parachutes are a simple way to. Okay. Uh. uh ability? Parachute. Ta da! Select the Mark 16 parachute by left clicking on it. Then move it to the top of the. Okay. Some parts, like a parachute here, have configure options. Just use the right hand side. Okay. Uh, do that now and see what your available parameters. Uh, right click. Altitude. Uh, well now let's check that the opening height on the chute is at least on 1000 meters. Yes. 
Uh, you can hide these options by right clicking on the background scene or picking up another part. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. What did you want me to do? Move it a bit to a zero. Move it a bit to the right to zero point two. Well, that's to the left. A safety is cover. Is the cover away after all? For the mean pressure slider, move it to, a bit to the right to zero point two. Oh, right. Right click next. Uh, click on the engines tab. Engine. Where's that? Engines. Uh, grab one and connect it to the bottom of the pod. There we go. Uh, uh, next. Oops, I forgot you're just starting out. You're not a famous rocket scientist, and to make that craft survivable as it stands now, you're better at rocket science. You'd have to, you'd have to be better at rocket science than me. Ha! Impossible. Can I resize this? No. Okay. Well, the problem with that craft is, is that this solid rocket is too powerful for the payload. A single small pod and shoot. It's will either burn up on ascent from going too fast or burn up coming back down. Even if you survive that, the craft's mass will cause it to fail too fast. Okay. Promise to teach you from okay, blah blah blah. Bumper. Uh pick up the that and either drop it back at the parts or press delete. Okay. Shut up, phone! Okay. Instead, let's add this solid motor. That's a better match. For ship is this right? Solid fuel booster. Oh, it's so cute! Now, for now, let's pick up the RT... RT5, please. Okay. Nice one. You've built the simple survival... Simplest survivable craft possible. We could go launch this right now, but it might be safer to explain one other thing first. Da 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 da. Uh, let the plus. You go here. Wait, is this the first stage then? Move on the zero stage, you'll see a little plus and minus parallel at the box. New stage. If you add too many, click the minus button. Actually, two. Excellent. It's important to know that. Our first stage will be one. Second will be zero. Oh, okay. So it goes, it counts down instead, okay? Now drag the engine icon from stage 0 down to stage 1. I did that. Saving it for later. Uh, click on the save icon. Uh, save icon. Um. Untitled spacecraft. Oh, it doesn't seem to suck. I want to change that to be something more your style. Basic mini rocket. Mark one. Save. Next. Excellent work. Okay, you can close this now. Uh, feel free to play around with the parts and techniques I've shown you. Let me check my phone. Gen Z okay, done. So then we can launch? Why can't I launch? Wait, do I need to put the pillars or whatever? Uh, wait, what did he say? Come back, mister. I should have read that, huh? Robotics? Oh yeah, I have the groundbreaking DLC. But wait, was that the one I have? 
Okay, so I just go leave and go to the next thing. Game saved. Cancel. Start new. Wait. Cancel. What? Inbox. Introductions. Start. Um. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and the guy who's figuring the instructions. Uh, ready to look around? Okay, thanks. I got it. Let's go back in here and see what we've got. Welcome to the. Hello, I'm Rene von Kerman, chief rocketry engineer. This is a vehicle. Oh, yes, we met already. Got it. All right. Let's see. So first, let's just make a simple single stage to orbit. First little pod ahead. Oh, this one. Okay. So let's start basic. Oh, guidance unit. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a lot more complicated than I remember. Illuminator? No, uh... The, oh, robotics. I'll get a hinge. I could make a mech. That would be cool. Cal... Cal 1000? <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay. Your scanning arm. Um. What am I doing? Nope. Yeah. There is the. Uh, let's see. What's diff? It's literally the same thing, though. Stroke. Small deploying. High, small deploys high up, and certainly not enough to stop you smashing into the ground. And it's not be useful for showing, blowing heavy craft down before the deployment of your main chutes. Okay. We'll just go with this one. In case anything goes wrong. Which it likely will. Um. Coupling. Yeah, let's, uh. Nope. 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 <laughs> God, no. Oh, yes. Okay. So this will be the same one? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, uh... Wait, did I say single stage orbit? Wait, can I, uh... Help? Let me just leave. Don't save yet. Backing station. Uh. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's been so long, I forgot. Training, that's what I need to press. Basic flight. Duh. I know what I'm doing. Kind of, sort of, not really. Welcome to the Kerbal Space Center Launch Facility. Gene Kerman, nice to meet you, Gene. Ready to go, uh, little hopper. Your basic instruction with Warner. We'll run through 
once and see how it flies. Okay, flying space rifle well, is out. Please don't make that sound again. Ooh, let me move myself. Oops, oops. Uh, I could. Good. Yeah, there's nothing to see here, don't worry. Professional, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh... Uh... Fine. Sorry! Now you can see... Valentine. Okay, uh... His uh, has probably main flight controls will affect the pitch. Y'all can roll the ship. Yaw pitch roll, got it. Uh, S and W's pitch down right, A and D, and then Q and E's roll, got it. On these controls, a limited amount of effectiveness, so bigger, heavier ships will probably respond much more sluggishly to the controls than a little small one. Yes. Base, launch, activate the stage. Yada yada yada. Staging setup because of strife, you can change your mind about something, you can edit this. Stage sequence on the fly. Pun intended. Hehe, <laughs> no need to go back to the same Shut up. Uh. Good pilot is always where the ship's out. Uh. What? Attitude. Where it is pointing and velocity vector. Where it is going. They aren't always the same direction and as your skills improve, you should pick up on these. Yada yada yada. Uh. When you're not pointing straight up, it's easily visible as the line between the blue sky and the ground ground. Yeah, so we're pointing straight up right now. I can... Look at that. Moving the thing. Look, okay, down here. Uh, but I didn't want to do that. I thought S was to turn on SAS. I th might be thinking of something else, though. You okay, like your current velocity? Yes, don't worry, Val Valentina. Vertical, uh, um, vertical speed. This is roll. That's y'all. That's pitch. Wait, what is? Top center. Oh right. Answer. Uh, altimeter, which is right here. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh. Uh, oh, one last thing before we give this rocket a green light. In the staging stack, you can see indicator for your parachute. This indicator shows when the chute will be activated by staging. You already know that. But the background will also change color to indicate when it is safe to stage the parachute. In the foreground, the parachute's bit of it. The icon itself will change color. Sorry, I lost myself. This text is tiny. Change color depending on the parachute state. Note, however, that by default parachutes do not deploy when unsafe, even if you stage them. Left three shell safety, safe risk, oh sh safe risky, unsafe to deploy. Sh uh, shoot is staged for left back, okay. Wait, so arm deployed and cut slash shredded. 
and the left three. Okay, so this is when it's safe, risky, and unsafe. This is uh, armed, deployed, and then cut. Got it. Anytime you press escape to pause the game. Now get yourself prepared and hit space when ready to launch. Got it. Where is my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Woohoo! Guys, it could be too much to learn in one go. If you forget... Whoa! We are flying! Look at that. 600 meters a second. Oh. Oh, and I can move a little bit. Yeah. You ready to feel the feeling of falling? Uh, I guess it's going to be too much to learn in one go, so, uh, a few key. You can also see whatever you do. And as I hang around and watch, I'll let you know when it's safe to stage your shoot. But it, it's safe, right? Wait, where's the... Wait, where's my height? Wait, okay, am I still going up? Oh, I'm slowing down now. Okay, Valentina, get ready to fall. I can probably do it now, but... <laughs> uh oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's uh, point our nose back down. No, we want to go straight down. Oh, that's our height, right. Oh. Tell motors point out you're passing uh, the surface. Okay. Uh, oh, it's armed? Right. Well, maybe worse. Like, if you don't fly high enough, you may not have enough air under you to slow down before you crash. Arm the parachute and I send a way to get low enough. Okay, so I have to wait until it's... Good. Sorry, Valentina. Uh. Um. Oh, dear. Valentina, uh... You've served your country well. I salute thee. Oh god, it's not... Why isn't it deploying? Uh... uh put on enough for it to... Wait to get low enough and slow down enough. Slow down? With what? Maybe we're slightly. If it didn't fly high enough, it may not have enough under... Uh, Valentina, I don't know why it's not going off. It's armed. Ah, oh, shuck. Something went terribly wrong there. You might want to try to stay alive when on an actual mission, you know. Don't feel bad. I'll send someone to clean up and you can try again. Make sure you fly high enough to be going slow enough for parachute deployment. I did! It was armed and I couldn't do it. <sighs> Hold on, let's try again. Because I want to see what I did wrong. Unless that was supposed to happen. Uh. Okay, let me just. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, throttle. Do I, uh. Don't know how to increase and decrease my throttle. Spin like a missile. Okay, so... How do I increase and decrease my throttle? I forgot. It's been too long. Okay, it's armed. It's still going up. What is this? Uh, oh, a manual. Good. Controls. Uh, general controls. Uh, camera, no. Uh, flight direction. General flight. Uh, left shift and left shift and left control. Got it. Right. So, uh, when is it safe to deploy? 
I don't want to disarm it. How do I deploy? I'm the parachute. Not time to wait to get low enough to slow and slow down enough for deploy safely. Didn't fly high enough for me not have enough air and you to slow down before you crash. Yes. Okay. So why isn't it altitude 1,000 feet or 1,000 meters? Got it. So it should automatically deploy if it is safe enough. Then. Okay, let me turn on SAS then. Oh, I can't. Nope, 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 nope. Correct. Correct. Ugh. Nope, 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 nope. Wait. Okay, well. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Ah! Okay. Notice we're not slowing down that much. 320. We're getting faster. Uh, you should just shoot while still going too fast and it ripped up for it. Uh, really isn't much can be done now. Let's try to do ribbons. Okay, well. Oh, uh, 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 ev evac, evac, evac. Uh, 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 uh. Can I, can I do anything? Parachute, parachute. No, 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 parachute. Uh, 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 uh. shoot. Ah-ha, <laughs> I saved your life, Valentina. Didn't you die? Now I'm in control of Valentina. What a great astronaut you are. Oh, careful now. Whew. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. And oops. Stand. Oof. Ouch. Oof. Supposed to brace yourself. Get up. Hey! Uh. I think I was supposed to die and not, you know, evac. But that's okay. Escape. End scenario. End scenario. Raining. Intermediate construction. Rumor von Kermit himself. Oops. Raining. Intermediate construction. All right. Vab. Got it. It's already been a half hour. Please. If you remember in our last construction tutorial, we covered how to build a simple hopper and some of the basics of the construction area. And your knowledge of some of the more useful features. A little more complex craft that will be able to get us out of the atmosphere. Good. Open button. Wait, what? Click on the open button in the top right corner and load the hopper. Open. I uh, didn't. Why didn't it save? Uh. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... If you mess up, you can recreate the craft from the parts list by placing the pod first, and the parachute, and the small engines. Oh, wait. Delete the craft somehow, close the load. Mess up, you can... Okay, so let me just... It's not gonna let me save. Okay. Like last time, we won't be bringing the whole vessel back, so we can change our parachute stats from what we used before. Right-click on the parachute and verify that its deployment altimeter is set to 1,000 as last time, but also set the minimum pressure ladder all the way to the right. Got it. We yeah. That corresponds to an altitude on Kerbin of about 2 kilometers and means a much shorter time hanging around during descent. Okay. First of all, let's change the name of our craft in the description if you want, so that we can have our trash can. Uh, name something other than Hopper, okay. Oops. Got it.
For this graph, we're going to give this ship some additional purpose by attaching a science experiment. You can run these experiments during our travels and get valuable science data. Okay. Go to science. And attach. First thing. Wait, what? This is one of the most basic scientific experiments the Kerbal scientists have devised, and it's one of the first things they want to try and understand better. I mean, they don't even know what color the goo is. What is it? Mystery goo container. You know, it's something one of our engineers came up with while dumpster diving. Uh, while researching alternative application for existing technologies. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You know, let me... Uh, can I... Yes. Okay. Yes, I did that. Um... I just had to look at it. It's one of the most basic things. I mean, they don't even know what color the goo is. Next. Um... Am I not supposed to mirror or do anything like that? Nope. Am I swing? Because I'm assuming that's the hatch there. Yeah, I put it on there. I did it. What do you want? Science. 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 That's how I look at it. Okay. Hold on, let me... What? I removed it and it's fine now. Oh, I'm not supposed to put it on yet. Okay. Uh, these buttons control symmetry. An angle snap. Okay, I do want angle snap, and I do want symmetry. Press the symmetry button. Press the X key to cycle through the old symmetry modes. So there's symmetry and not symmetry. Got it. Mystery. Near the nose of the pod. Is that really that important? I'll do it. If we add too many more parts here of the craft, we are making will be too heavy to survive. Okay. Decouplers. Could you, uh, uh, decouplers. Got it. Yep. I know decouplers. Uh, okay. If you ever want to return to this. Okay. I uh, see reset button at the bottom of the staging stack. Okay. Next. This time we're going to use liquid propellant rocket engine. Solid fuel. We're gonna need five of these tanks to get us space. Okay, well. Go to fuel tabs. Uh, no, 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 fuel. We need five of these. Okay, so, yeah. Left alt. Aha! Engines. Got it. Swivel engine. Liquid engine is. So, uh, where is it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. There's a problem. Did I break it? How did I break it? Um. Might have to redo this. Uh. 
the liquid engine. Switch up. Switch over the engine step now. Oh, I did. Attach to this reality power stack now. Keep it on a stage. Change stack to see how it changes. Yeah, I would love to, except for the fact that it's non existent. Um. Gonna. Cancel. Um. Oh! I think there's supposed to be an engine here, but it doesn't appear to be there. Attach it. Okay, sure, I'm attaching it. Boop, it's attached, yeah, mm hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one again and just make it and save it as what it is. Maybe it'll freaking work this time. Oh, come on. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah, mm hmm. Parachutes, yeah. Yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Engines. Oh, wait, that's not the right one. Silly me. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, it. Staging complete. Uh, drag the engine's icon from stage zero to stage one. Oh, uh, yeah, let me just do that real quick. There you go. Quick save. Oh, uh, why don't you change it to be something more like your style? Hopper thing. Save icon. Click on save icon in the upper right. Okay, so now does that mean that? Nope. Um. Hmm. There seems to be a problem. Save. Um. Any vessels you save here will be lost when you exit. Okay. Cool. Training. Intermediate. Start. Let's hope it freaking works this time. Yes, yes, good to see you too. Mm hmm. Okay, open. Not safe. Oh, wow, that's a lot. They're just the basic hopper? No. Okay, well, it's gonna. Oops. Load the hopper, then remove the RT5 flea motor. Yeah. Mess up, you can remove the craft from the part list by placing pod first, then parachute on top of it. Okay. Oops. Next. Alright, all the way to the right. Next. Okay. Not. Upper. Yeah, that's good. Next. Science. Uh, this one. Next. This and this. Next. Coupling. This. Place it now. Stack covers with arrows. 
Or show which side is the one that decouples. Okay. If you want to return to this default staging setup, you can click. Okay. Well, then you can. You'll recall, I hope, in the previous tutorial. Yes. Staging sec. When we added the engine to our earlier rocket, when you add a decoupler at the extra stage, it <laughs> automatically uploaded a stage that new parts below. Decoupler won't be staged at the same time as those above it. Next. Fuel tanks. This time we're going to uh, look at propeller rocket engine. I like solid rocket motors. These engines don't carry their own propellants with them, so we need to add some fuel tanks. What are the fuel tanks to have? Okay. Fuel tanks. You're going to need five of these tanks to get us to space. Before you grab five of them, uh, though, let me give you another tip. Because efficiency is my little name, it goes right after Vaughn. Uh, Verma Vaughn Efficiency Common. Right. Uh, click it. Boom. Alt. Next. Let's get the swivel. And it's not there. Attach this. <laughs> Keep it on the staging site to see how it changes. Uh, can I just go to all? Um, LV. That's literally all the parts I have. Keep an eye on the staging stack to see how it changes. Yeah, okay, but it's not. Switch over to the engines tab now. Engines. The full engine you can see here is obviously different from the flea here's before. Liquid engine and use a burst plus liquid fuel. Just out of the rocket. Attach the swivel to the bottom of the rocket stack now and keep an eye on the staging stack to see how it changes. Yeah, about that. It's not there. Herman! Okay, what the hell? What's going on? Switch editor. Ooh, that did nothing. Switch editor. There is no swivel editor. Or swivel engine. I don't know what you want from me. Here, let's put these on. There, how's that? You want more? Here, there's some more. Nailed it. Launch. Okay, well, you're no freaking help. Let's try this again. Go to orbit. Let's just do that. They're attacking our absolutely essentials. Oh, I can middle mouse button. Okay. Going to space. Uh, get into orbit. Let's go. Okay, so is this what I was supposed to build? Because this is not what I built. Kerbal 1. Oh. I trust you've already checked the other flight tutorials, as well as the advanced construction one to be familiar with the Kerbal 1. Then why the hell... Why is it there? Science basics? What what's the order we need to do this in? Sorry, we'll walk you through the trouble scientific method. To learn how experimentation works and why it's so cool. That sounds really boring. Wait, did I do that one? The orbital flight. That's what I I thought I clicked that one. Okay, well. Ta-da, I built it.
You didn't see it because I was so fast. Fix the game, please. I'm glad you can make that. Today we'll take an exciting next step. Getting our first curl into space. Yep, with a capital S. Hopefully you remember the controls. Okay. Ready? Let's get started. Okay. Your mission. Could you choose to accept it? Less than a real flight with water to the east. It's a nice art arcing path that ensures a gentle, survivable re-entry. Straight up then straight down. Is not so good for survival. Set up the pink target indicator. Okay. Aim point. Do, do note that this is not the case for normal missions. The target marker is normally used for other things and does not help when asc with ascents. Starting with the nose pointing straight up. Okay, tilt to 80 degrees. Uh, AKA 90 degrees. Tilt east. Wait, what? I'll end up all by that. At, at 100. What? Uh, after burnout, coast up into space and have a look around. Prepare for reentry. Lastly, reenter and land safely. As you reach burnout, it's a bit more time to discuss some other things. Okay. Like the hopper, our first lesson, this new craft has liquid fuel engines. This means we can use the throttle to set the output power of the ship's engines. Okay. Uh, shift, control, shift, control. Try these now. You need, you'll see the indicators light up and down. Yes, you can see it right there, right here. Next, SAS sensor stability augmentation system, although Kerbal astronauts usually refer to it as sickness avoidance scheme. Whatever works. Whatever it stands for, it does a soft tap, blah, 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 F key. That's the key. Wait. Activate it momentarily by holding down the F key and be toggle by pressing the T key. Got it. The problem following maneuvers, once you enable SS and lift off, click the small red button to the left of the nav ball that has a miniature target indicator. I'm sorry, I'm usually a great reader. Uh, it's just my light is literally right next to the screen. It's right here. Um, and this text is really tiny, but I don't want to... Can I? Hold on. Settings. UI scale. Uh. For certain case, be required to apply all the effects of the above UI scale settings. Uh, no problem with the maneuvers. Okay. A bit too much engines. We're going to throttle down for launch. Two thirds, got it. Uh, okay, here we'll keep it posted when you want to be pointed. Mm -hmm. Morning, detailed interval, press escape to follow if necessary. Okay. During a lesson, some of the information is quite detailed. Take a while to read. As this is a short suborbital sub hop, and I don't want you to miss anything important, I will place a warning at the top of the pages where you might want to pause the game to read. Okay. Back it's at two thirds. And base. Eighty degrees. By the time you reach 100. 80 degrees. A little more. We're going to be at 30 degree pitch line. Another marker. Oh, okay. Go ahead and throttle up on full, full power. Full throttle! Cooking now. As you get up to these higher speeds, you might start to see, through, see some heat effects. You'll clear the atmosphere before it gets too hot. Hold the course and we'll get reach for out. Okay. Okay, great work. Well, you might have 
Uh, okay, let's see. You see the netball speed indicator auto switch from surface to orbit, accompanied by the speed number jumping. Go ahead and switch back to surface mode by clicking on, on it until it says surface again. Okay, it still says surface. I don't know, uh, might not, you might have noticed, but some flickering flames near the end of the, of our burnout there, which is due to the high speed of your craft in the atmosphere. Our only ascent would be a little slower, but I'm sure my friend Warmer, Warner has helped you build a ship that can withstand this heat, and besides this high and slow, you'll be fine. Hey, Jebediah, I just noticed. If you want to have a look at your directory, you can switch the map. Okay. Cool. That was N. Uh, next. They're crossing the Apoapsis. This is our current path. We've got a little time to chat. Once you clear the atmosphere, we'll go over what you can do in space. Okay. So, uh, how long have you been working here, pal? Uh, that's nice. I still need to turn. Uh, go up here beyond the atmosphere. I'll quickly tell you about, uh, advanced enough astronaut complex to the KSC. We can train our kerbals to be able to spacewalk. Although when we are carrying science devices like our goo containers, we can perform experiments. Feel free to play with the goo containers right now by right-clicking on them. You know what time it, when it's time for next person. Ooh, cool. Play with toys. Oh, well. Observe, Mr. Eager. Ooh. Uh, warning. Ah, ah, oh, crap. As we near the edge of the atmosphere again, it's time to reorient the pod. Get ready for re-entry. We're only going to re-enter with the pod and shoot and goo canisters, but we're not going to decouple yet. In, a, in real missions, it's best to keep your upper stage around until the last moment. You never know when you might need it. Keep your... what? Best to keep your upper stage around until the last minute. We're not going to decouple yet in real mission. Okay. Re-enter bottom first, and since we ascended about 7 degrees, we'll naturally want to be negative 7 degrees. I mean, you want to aim the top of the capsule at the 70 degree pitch line, but the opposite heading. This is at a heading of 270. And that ball on 70 degrees pitch, and I've placed the target marker there to help you see where it lies. Turn SAS off, change your altitude, then turn it back on. Attitude, sorry. Pumped into the sphere. He appears to be a dumb brittle. Okay. Uh, hold, hold on. How do I, uh... Transmit. Transmit data. Mm -hmm. Nice! Oh, shit. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, turn off SAS. Is this the right way? Time to get rid of the booster. Bye bye, booster. Turn, turn, uh, uh, now we're entering current atmosphere. We should keep all hands and feet inside the pod at all times. We don't want you getting burnt or anything. Don't mind the flames. Werner is a world famous rocket scientist, after all, and he's built this ship to withstand them. As I watch the parachute icon wait for the right time to open the chute, this time we are going to do something a little different. Remember the in the construction tutorial when you designed the, this vessel? Yeah, I totally did. You set the chute, not semi-deployment, until 0.75 atmospheres. 
of pressure. That means the chute won't perform the very first of its two deployment stages until then, even if you activate it by staging now. On Carbon, 0.75 ATM means about 2,000 meters altitude above sea level. If you're traveling slowly enough, sorry, it's so boring. See the chute now for passing space. Uh, awesome, so I said shoot not fully semi- oh, yeah. Our shoot is not actually semi-deployed until around 2 kilometers. Do look out for you at mission control. You do need to ensure that the op at the opening height, its second full deployment step is correct. You can adjust the right in flights, right click on the parachute now and click their sliders. Don't touch the pressure slider or bad things will happen and make sure uh, it's with no less than 1000 meters. Not have enough time to slow down. Once you're satisfied, just hang on until about two kilometers. Watch the parachute trigger itself according to the settings we've chosen. While we're waiting, I want you to look at the bottom of the capsule. Notice that you do not have a heat shield. You don't need one because it's such a gentle plight. Actually, a heat shield would make things more dangerous on this craft because the additional mass would be pushing the limits of this model of parachute. Cool. Yeah, there's no heat shoot. Let me just double check to make it... Yeah, it's good. Right, let me turn SAS back on. Cool. It's a Jebediah. <laughs> Look at him. You're so cute, Jebediah. Okay. That's why I just hang over until about two kilometers. Yeah, I... So we wait now. Holy crap, I'm building up a lot of speed. I thought you said this was a gentle flight. I can't see the bottom of the craft, so. I don't need one because it's such a gentle flight. Actually, a heat shield would make things more dangerous. Am I supposed to be going like this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, things are coming in really hot. Oh no, we're slowing down. Oh yeah, because we hit the atmosphere. Hold on, Jebba. Jebediah. Wow, no heat on re-entry, that's good. Hold on tight, Jeb. Now enjoy leisurely float down to the surface. Uh, about that. Oh, nice. That wind, though. Ah. Hey, Jeb, jump out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah. Look at how far I can, I can zoom out into this. Whoa, that's a big shadow. Look at that. An hour. We went to space and came back down. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yeah, Jeb, back to Earth, back, or er, Kerbin, back to responsibilities. How do you feel? That's just great. And. Back, congratulations on bleeding and even surviving your first real mission. Okay, done. End scenario.
Yes. Okay, now we're going to advanced building. Right? Advanced construction. Yes. Third and final tutorial about construction. Advanced construction tutorial. Go on. Inside lab. Okay. V Vab. Vehicle assembly building. In the last tutorial, we built a vessel that could escape the atmosphere, but I didn't have enough oomph to escape for long. This time around, we'll cover more advanced rocket design concepts like multiple stages and boosters, as well as the airship parts like RCS and solar panels. You want these if you spend more than a few minutes in orbit. When we're done, you'll have craft capable of ascent to orbit, orbital operations, and safe return to Corbin. And you can test it out in, in the Go for Orbit tutorials, which will teach you how to make use of it all. Okay. Notice that there are a lot, lot there are lots more parts available. Really? I can't tell. Um oh control Z can undo stupid stuff. Little puddle jumper. I showed you how to make it last time. Okay. Again. Create the pod. Next. Just like last time, select a parachute and place it. Yes. Uh. Minus 75. Next. That's gonna because it's a coupler, we don't want to carry it home. Okay, yeah. Right, shopping list, isn't it? Okay, so. The coupler, RCS fuel, liquid fuel. Four RCS thrusters, four solar panels, four batteries, and an efficient upper stage engine. I'm ready. Firstly, we will add the stack decoupler below the pot. One. Uh. Grab a decoupler. Okay. Add the RCS tank. Go to. Go to the tanks category. Add the FLR or FLR120 RCS fuel tank. Just one, okay. Next. Your craft is not going to need all the monopropellant in the tank, so save some w to save some weight right quick to get parts options and move the slider down to 96 units. Oops, there we go. RCS is generally less efficient, but it's good for small velocity changes in any direction rather than just forwards like the main engines do. Okay. We'll be adding multiple liquid fuel tanks in this stage to the right amount for the upper stage engine, and we need an extra tank to offset the weight of the RCS. So add a tiny rocket propellant tank. It's the one named FLTI-100, or T-100 fuel tank, and then add the medium one above it. Oh, below it. This and that. Next. Lastly, for the main parts of the upper stage, we'll add an engine. The Terrier engine produces almost no thrust at sea level air pressure, but is highly efficient in space. Uh, add an. Okay, do I have it this time? Yes, I do. That's good. Nicely done. That is pretty well assembled up a stage, if I do say so myself. It'll get you into orbit, but put enough rockets under it. If you put enough rockets under it. Okay, make that ship flat. Flies control B. Some parts need to be placed carefully around a point inside the ship called the center of mass. This COM is a spot where... Okay. Mass. Got it. Okay, let's adjust the fuel levels in some of the tanks and see how that affects... I click on each of the tanks to drag the fuel and abstract resistance level down to zero. Don't touch the monopropellant. Zero. Um. As you're doing this, you will see the calm move. Yep, yeah, it did. Uh, move the same way as it burns its fuel until the, the tanks are empty. Oh, the oxidizer goes down to zero. Uh, 
Okay. As you're doing this, you will see the combo during this flight. The vessel's combo will move the same way as it went through until the tanks are empty. Okay, I've done that. Now what? Okay. Um. I did it. Am I supposed to go back or what? Yes, ooh, it moves. Mm hmm. Go down to zero. Oh, wait, and liquid fuel? Oh, okay. 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 Now go ahead and refill the tanks and we can proceed. Okay. Next. Now that you know where the center of mass is when the stage, okay? Uh, spaceship without routing it is called translation. A useful kind of maneuver for several reasons, including docking to another craft. In order for translation with RCS to avoid unwanted rotation, you need to balance the thrusters around the center of mass so that the net sum of the forces is balanced right on this natural pivot point. Two equal sets of thrusters, each set should be equidistant from the center mass. Okay. Changes during flight, as you just saw, so you need to place the thrusters at a compromise point between the wet and the dry. Now that in career mode games, RCS thrusters don't become available until fairly late. In the meantime, the reaction wheel capability built into your command pod will probably be enough for turning in space. Okay. Or symmetry. Uh, ah. Just sets back clicking the toggle snap. The toggle snap. The tiny rocket propellant tank is about the right place to attach these. Just in case you need a hint. Don't get the placement quite right. Okay, so I need to do what now? Yeah. Uh. Don't get this if it don't get, uh, the tiny rocket propellant tank is just about the right place to attach these. Question by Wait. Those two blocks. Go tanks. Um Uh place a set of four R V thruster blocks. Uh, well, you're going to tell me where it is? I'll be... Uh, the tiny rocket propellant tank is just about the right... Wait, th this one? Okay, uh... Don't get the placement quite right. You can also use the offset gizmo. Fine-tune their position. Make sure to turn the angle snap off before using the offset. Hmm? What's it mode in the upper left main editor window? What are you talking about? What do I need to do? Offset, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I can just do that. Great. <laughs> so I'm guessing. Okay, so. Oh, let me turn this back on. You can also use offset gizmo to find you in the position. Shoot. Offset. Where is that? Single snap off. Oh, snap. I'm going to find adjustments for that end. With snap turned on, the adjustments are anything but fine. 
offset mode icon in the upper left of the main editor window. Offset. 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 Move? Oh. Nice. Yada yada yada. Turn to Z. Place mode. Okay, turn it off. That's good. Next. Okay. Lots of things on the craft use electric charge. That is. That's what us cool scientists call rocket electricity. EC. You're gonna keep your batteries topped up. The <laughs> way of generating power. Engines generate electricity while they're running, but you don't want to keep your engine running in orbit. Or it would get all kinds of messed up and you'll run out of propellant. Man, the pod has some batteries built into it, but to be safe, you can add more batteries and you can add solar panels or other electricity generating items. We're going to do both. Here's to the electrical. Electrical. Category now. Ensure that we have angle snap turned on. Angle snap turned on. Or symmetry mode, okay? Use part rotation scales. Just the panels before placing them. That's the WASD QE keys. Grab the OX stat. Solar panel. Hold it to the lower end of the fuel tank and press A to rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. So, A. Okay, so where? Lower end of the Hold, hold it over the lower end of the... Huh? Oh. I guess just there. Get to place it down. Go ahead and set to place it. Z100 batteries next. Oh, between the solar panels. Got it. What the hell? That looks weird. Okay. Excellent work. If you a nice start... Start to upper stage with... Will do well for some orbital exploration. Now we need to work on getting it up to orbit, and for that, we'll build our lower stage. In comparison to the upper stage, it's quite simple just a couple of tanks and an engine. That won't be enough to s alone, however, so we'll add some boosters too. Add another decoupler. Got it. Look at that. I like that. Oh, this. Got a shroud. Notice how when you add this a couple of fairing is placed around the engine? This will get jettisoned automatically when we state the decoupler. Now, we need to add the fuel tanks to our lower stage. To the medium rocket propellant state tanks. Uh, medium. Oh, that's a booster. Uh, medium. Orange. Got it. Next. Uh, for the engine, we need an engine that is a sustainer. That's an engine that burns from liftoff until we, until well after the boobers, boost, boobers, boosters separ separate. Let's get scientifical for a second. The rocket engine performance is measured by scientific or er, specific impulse (ISP), and the ISP of the engine changes the amount of atmospheric pressure around it changes. This is the upper stage, blah 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 blah. So stage booster in the car level, I was just you know, the booster is changed and uh add the big engine you see there. Where's the bottom? The swivel. The hammer. The one of the tanks as a sustainer. That's that right one, right? No, the swivel. God dang it. Where's the swivel? I don't have it! T45 swivel. I don't have that. Uh. Scientific. Oh, scientific. He 
It's not there. Where is the swivel? It isn't there. That's an engine, and that's an engine, but there's no other engines here. What the hell is going on? Where is the swivel engine? I don't know the tanks are sitting here. I'd love to, but there is no such thing. This one? How about that? No? Okay, then how about this one? Well, that's unfortunate because it's not going to work otherwise. Where the hell is it? Ah! Fantastic. Love it. Great. 10 out of 10. Go die in a hole. Training. Orbit. Whatever. We're just gonna go with the, uh, go to orbit. That's ridiculous. Valentina is going to space. Cool. That's where I had to put it? That's not right. That's not where it was. Okay. Whatever. New attack on the of the scenario. Yada, yada, yada. Set your total to the max. Oh, that's cool. There's X. Oh, nice. And prepare to launch. Mm -hmm. Now see the marker on top of the nav ball. Got it. What the heck? Stop doing that. Ugh. Just when you're ready to go for orbit, on Valentina to fly the curve for you, then you can enable SAS and set the mode to target after the liftoff. At the throttle, just need to pay attention to the target marker. Okay. Ready to start pitching down. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shucks, something went wrong here. We have course. Okay, hold on. Revert flight. Kind of a monkey. Z. Mm -hmm. Point you can enable SAS and get the mode to target after the fill. To target. Mm -hmm. Alright, Valentina, you're in control. The hell? That's what I was doing before, and it said it was wrong. Okay, I'm no longer in control. Valentina has control. The best star pilot in the galaxy. Okay, solid fuel is now going out. Uh, almost out of the fuel. Get ready to eject on my stage. You need to press space when it's time. Stage now! Oh, crap! Doing great. Keep following the target indicator. Get ready to stage again to discard the lower stage. Okay. <laughs> what if I just press it now? <laughs> And... 
space. Oh shit. Okay. Drive. Map mode first, and we can have a look at the trajectory. Okay. Oh shucks, something wrong here. We, of course, need to be quick about following the instructions. What? If, what? Boarding and landing safely. I was good. Can I please restart the tutorial? Are you kidding me? Great. I was doing what I was told. Okay, what is this one? Ability assist. Okay, we'll kick that in once we get there. I don't know how I was way off course when I was doing what I was told. Need to press space when it's time. Got it. So you decide for the first stage. Press M. Okay. Great. Now you can give an eye on the trajectory. You always try to. Uh, and if you can right click on that. Okay. Hold on. But you bitch! I did what I was told! Are you kidding me? Fly for you. Okay. Follow target mode as I explain and let SAS fly it for you. Yeah, well that doesn't... freaking work. And you see how it should be flowing and you can fly? Try flying a manual. Don't feel bad chasing that pages. Try re reaching orbit on your own, or you can try aborting and landing safely. Always good to skill of practice. Otherwise, please restart the tutorial. Screw you! I'm wasting my frickin' time. How am I off course, you jerk? Z. Target. Actually, just to stabilize, I'm going for it myself. All oh, right, this should be the way I'm facing them. Why are you rolling? Do it yourself, Valentina. I might have to 
there were corrections in. I'm gonna help her out a little bit. Oops. Did I just do that too early? Yes, I did. Son of a bitch. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? Valentina, stay on course. Please. Escape! Great, now you can keep an eye on the strategy while you track our future path. You can right click on the marker to pin it so. What? You can right click on that marker to pin it so that it, so that it remains visible when you move your mouse away. What marker? Oh, if you hover over the apoapsis node on the map, you will be able to see estimated. I have to do it on your figure path. Okay. 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 Right click on the marker. Boop. Shut up. No. I'm going to go to space. In fact, I'm not just going to go to space. I'm going to deliver a satellite. Wait. Can I resume saved? Cancel. Okay. I'm gonna call this one, um... Science. Uh, easy. Uh... Indestructible facilities? Nah. Okay, I'm just gonna do it that way. Hmm. I wonder. This is ground control to Major Tom. I'm gonna... Thanks, I've got it. Gene. Freaking loser. Think I'm stupid or something? Yeah, I know what I'm doing now. Thank you. That's cool. What is it? What is that? Oops. What, what is it? The whole transfer module houses control core and nursery size beyond thing. Okay. I'm gonna make my own rocket. And it's gonna go right to space. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Uh, let's see. Coupling. It was... Oh wait, I need to parachute first. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, small parachute it is. Okay. Halo. Okay, where's the spherical? That's not spherical. Wait. Wait, what? What? Oh, 
What? Why isn't there a... Okay. Fine. We're gonna do the real thing. Uh, wait. Yeah, maybe that. Let's do it. Yeah. We're going to space, baby. No, uh, one needs to be fuel. Okay, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. I need some... Obviously, I need some SAS. <sighs> oh, boy. So... Rain valve. Okay, liquid. That's way too small. That's also way too small. That's also tiny. Where? Uh, what the hell is going on? Where's the big boy stuff? No. The big boy stuff. No. this. Ah. Got it. So this is liquid fuel. Also liquid fuel. Got it. Um. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't need rocket fuel, I need, um, RCS. Monoprop. Oh wait, this thing comes with it, doesn't it? Remember, man, this is going so poorly. Do I want to do this? Do I really want to do this? Do I really, really want to do this? Oh, see there. All right. What is it? Let me see if there's the, like, standard river. No. <laughs> no. What am I doing? I'll need that. Not yet.
What's the, uh, like the Apollo looking thing? Can I get an adapter to a... No. No. So freaking ridiculous. Just structural? Oh. That's not it. Oh. No. No. What is it? It's like the standard thing. Oh, hard coin. What the hell? No. No. Okay. Engine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now there should be... Yes. Yes. That's it. Perfect. This doesn't look like it's going to be enough. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah, we can add in the, uh... Whatever. Uh, engine... Got like a big one. Nope, not quite that big. No, not that big at all. No, not atomic. Jeez, not atomic. There's the swivel. Where the hell have you been? Man. Relent. Um... No. no, let's go with this one, yeah. What? This one's got better thrust. And it weighs less. Right, not that one. And not that one. Wait, is this the right ones? First stage engine through its high thrust to weight ratio and exceptional speed level efficiency. Alright, can I Oh wait, uh cancel. Oops, hold on. Aha, there we go. Okay. Now let's see if I can't dock. Where's like the very traditional Do they have, like, a traditional one? Oh, that's a satellite launch kit. Where's this one? Oh, wow, that's... Oh, damn, that looks nice. Oh, what? Wow. 
Wow, that's cool. Uh, let's not load this one, though. Do they not have, like, the very traditional... What's this one? Yeah, like that. But not. Yeah, it's like this one. It's got the big... The big orange fuel tanks. Okay, there's no big orange fuel tanks. I'm very disappointed. They got rid of them. Wait, are they engines? No. No, the, those were the... I'm disappointed. Now it's just this, the white. Man. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's get uh, these for shit. Oh, I'm very disappointed. So instead, we're going to turn this into a plane. Uh, there we go. Not a rocket. You know what? Let's just start from scratch. Okay. Just gonna go with new. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is complicated, man. It's been a while since I've had to work with rocketry, okay? The pod is... from a long time ago. So, give me a break. Oops, I went to the wrong editor. So let's go with... Let's go with a... Hold on, do I have... I'm going to install mods next time so I can bomb things and stuff. I mean, what? Communications. Electrical, thermal, ground. I can't... Oh. Because I need a thing. Yeah, we're going with a... Stealth cruiser. An entirely... Crap, that's annoying. Okay, it's a little annoying. We're going with... Stay put, Nick! <laughs> that's cute. Uh, right. We're gonna make... We're gonna give it a payload. Nope, I said payload. Yes. Wah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to have a lot of fuel though. Uh, let's go with... Yeah! <laughs> a big old ass on this thing. No, we're not going with that. Oh my god. Ah! Lag. Use large. Alright. Now let's, now let's go with the long one. Yeah, nice and long, and then we'll go with structural. Is there like a no? No. There's gotta be. Hold on. I 
gotta be like a really short transition. There we are. That's the one. Yeah. Looks like some eyes or something. I'm sure that's never been said before, huh? Okay. Um. Holy crap. I don't think we need something quite that big. Look. The pod. Um. Liquid fuel engine. Uh. Turbo. Turbo jet. Or, uh, liquid fuel. Wait, so what does this take? Uh, ram jet engine. Oh, that's cute. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, that, that looks cool. Come on. Uh, let's see. No, oh, I don't need electric. This is a funky looking thing, isn't it? Uh, I think it's gonna be... Get, get out. Emmy, stay down. Uh, fuel tank. Let's go with the short. Not gonna be a very long flight. No, let's... Screw it. We'll go with the long. Mono propellant. No, I don't need mono propellant. I need space. Babe, I need some space. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't think I need quite that. Nope, not like that either. Ooh. What the hell is going on? Oh, because that's upside down, right. Ah, okay. That's how I do it. Okay. Now can I right click? No. Okay. Well, that's okay. Why doesn't it like connect or anything? automatic. Okay. I'm gonna go with like a self bomber looking one. No, not that. Yeah. And then... That? Dude, that looks sick, but that's not what I'm going for. Let me just put a bunch of swept wings on it. Uh, can I put them inside of each other? I hope that doesn't break. Everything. Ooh, actually. I'm gonna have to uh, make sure that everything is started together properly. Can I weld things or something? I don't know. So we'll put some wheels on this thing. Once we've got the wings sorted out. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah, this. Yeah. 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 Okay, now I need to find something that'll make all these line up. 
No, not a tail connector. Yep. No, not that. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, yes. Yes. And then like this, but we Nope. Can't do that. Um can we? No, it would have to No. Actually that looks kinda nice. No, it doesn't. Okay. Can I No. Uh dang it. I wish I could uh No. I'll just uh Actually that looks pretty good already, so let's just add another That looks pretty sick, I don't know. Like a butterfly or a moth of death. If you add of death in front of everything, it makes it sound a lot better. Fact. Okay, uh, now I need some tail wings. Where's the wing? What? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. No. No. Running hard maneuvering may cause unintended stage separation. Oops, daisies. Okay, we're just gonna add these there. Yeah, that looks weird, huh? Do that. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, I could, like, I can make a... What, a propeller engine? What the? Oh, a hovercraft? Gearable landing gear. I believe it's this. Uh, okay, it's gonna need... It's gonna need to be a bit... Oh, we could make a little Cessna! Oh, that would be cute. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let me just put this down, and then... Is there like a... Is... is that, um... Oh, okay. Okay, we'll put it there. Let's check the center of mass for now. Okay, it's back there. So we'll put... Yeah, but we will move these. Nice, nice. I feel like we're gonna be back heavy, so I wish I could. I, uh. Oops.
Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool, huh? Let's see. Under thrust. Okay. Aerodynamic. A bit back heavy. Okay. No, wait, we want it to be like that. Because we want it to be as close to the center of mass as possible. Got it. So we're just going to have a little halo. Except it's almost time to go. Okay, we'll just whip something together real quick. Hold on. Uh, holy crap! That is some thick boys. Holy moly. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. What the hell is going on? Oh, not like that. There we go, sure. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, let's see, yeah, there should be like a straight thing, right? Air brakes! That'll be useful. Is that right? Oops, a daisies. I don't man. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh this Oh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, I thought it... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, wait. Okay. Get rid of that. It's whatever. Uh, let's see. Where was it? This. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Actually, let's do this instead. No, let's not do this instead. Baby's first stealth bomber. Perfect. Let's just see what <clears throat> if this is gonna work at all. Okay. Uh uh huh. G? No, not G. Great. Nope. Okay, well, that was dumb. That was stupid.
Oh well. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll work a bit on the tutorials off stream and get everything figured out before I start streaming again. Uh, maybe tomorrow, or maybe uh, Wednesday I can play Stranded Deep again, I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the future. Bye-bye!